Hello, this is Javier. Welcome to the channel. You're watching Retire Recharge Realm, and this is part of our series on our road trip in southern Lao. We are on our way to Atapo. We've done a lot of driving on country roads in Laos, so I'm used to the dirt and the potholes, but this route took it to a whole other level. So it started out bumpy, and then we had the large trucks to navigate around. These were trucks on their way to Vietnam, or back and forth. And then we got to a section of the road that had huge boulders along the road that you had to navigate. Sometimes they weren't visible because of the layer of dust on the road. So it was pretty sketchy. And in fact, these one of these boulders is what ended up doing in our trooper. So we had to stop later and get it fixed. The crazy thing about this route is sometimes it would appear to be getting better, so we were encouraged. And then it would get worse, so we never quite knew what to expect. It's a lot better than the road that we drove on. Yeah, a lot of traffic jam too. And to top it off, you had these pretty sketchy water crossings to navigate every now and again. There was a lot of dust on the road and these big trucks didn't help. And we found out later that we do not have an airtight seal on our doors in the trooper. So we had plenty of dust getting in. New bridge, and looks like the old bridge here. Which looks like nobody's using the old bridge anymore. I think it's safe to walk across. Nice. Here's the car wash law style. Get some good fresh river water and wash the old truck or the tractor. Oh, even washing the motorbike. Yeah, that works. So we literally did have hours and hours of driving on this road. Originally I think it was supposed to have taken us four or five hours and it ended up taking us seven, seven and a half hours by the time we were done. So it was brutal. And it made me think that this is definitely not a road that I would want to be on during the rainy season. It could be pretty non-navigable.
so we eventually came upon uh, what looked like a ca cassava harvesting operation, which was pretty uh, elaborate. Looks like there's a lot of cassava growing and harvesting around this area. So that was pretty interesting to see. After that crazy drive, we finally made it to Atapul and inspected the trooper. Pretty dirty. Dirty guys. Look at that. Then we just decided to settle in and get something to eat before taking the trooper in the next morning. It smells good. Let's see how it is. Yeah, charcoal. Let's see what we have to eat with it. So at these kind of mukata places, they typically have various selections of meats and seafood, different proteins that you can cook on the grill or cook in the soup. So we took a look at that. There was even a little dessert area there with uh, some sort of desserts. Don't know what that is. Then you've got your vegetables and other assorted things that you could uh, add to the soup that's cooking for flavoring and what have you. And then finally, the best part, I think, are the different sauces that you can make. So there's some chili and garlic, crushed red chili, so pretty good stuff. There is a peanut sauce, which I think they call that a suki sauce. And then there's a, looks like just like a uh, lemon and chili sauce that you can add. So they're all pretty tasty. Oh, that looks good. You want to make it? Huh? You want to mix it? Yeah. That's a sticky sauce. Yeah. I think that's a perfect way. Okay. So we're about to eat the traditional mukata. This is a Lao barbecue. The charcoal fire and soup cooking around the grill, and then we're gonna grill our own meat. The pork fat. Yeah. We're gonna, we got our grilled meat on top, and our fish in the soup cooking. So the next morning we 
had to at some point take the trooper in for service but we decided to check out of this hotel it's a great hotel don't get me wrong but there was just some things about it that we decided we would prefer to change to it had kind of a new new paint or new hotel smell to it uh, by the way this this table i couldn't get over that the craftsmanship pretty amazing it looked like all one solid piece of wood so I took a video of that and there's actually a lot of nice wooden craftsmanship in, in the hotel so nice hotel it just had this new paint or new hotel smell that we decided we didn't want to spend another night at Check out. Cup shy. Look on. Lock on. Lock on. Goodbye. Goodbye. There's the hotel we stayed at in Atapo. The Pakshan Hotel. 150,000 kip per night. It was all right. That's where we ate last night, the Mokota place. That was pretty interesting. That was just kind of luck that we stumbled on that ceremony at the temple. We had actually just stopped on the side of the road to look for a hotel when I walked over to the temple. And this was the hotel that we found. This is such a grand hotel with a huge entrance and a garden. We were afraid this would be out of our price range, but actually when we checked, it was the same price as the other hotel. So 250,000 kip or about $12 US per night. Decided to get a second hotel in Atapo. So staying for a second night. Give us time to check on the trooper. 
And this room was the same as the room we stayed in last night, 250,000 yes, cube. And this is a much bigger hotel. This is nice. So you can see, we got a little balcony. There's a trooper down there. Big garden. Yeah, this is nice. Our room's down that way. And look at this outdoor patio we have on our level. You can sit out here and have a cup of coffee. Yeah, this is nice. Nice place. Like we got tennis courts down there. Apparently this hotel was opened a little bit over 10 years ago, so but when it first opened it was quite the hotel in Atapo. Every room's got its own balcony. Yeah. Right next to the city hall area. Yeah. yeah. Downstairs in the lobby. We're doing some renovation. Sounds like tomorrow there's going to be a big meeting with leaders from Cambodia and Vietnam and Laos will be here. Look at how grand this entrance is. It's amazing. This is the Hong An Atapu Hotel. And we got our room for 250,000 kip. Just a little bit over $10 a night. Nice place. Looks like they've got a little garden out here. We're hoping to get some breakfast, but it doesn't look like the restaurant is open today. Oh, look at this. They got the sound system ready. Do some karaoke later. All right, so finding a mechanic in a foreign city can be a little bit tricky. We're a little bit worried. But we did, we were recommended this place from the hotel. So we thought we'd go try it and brought in the trooper while we were waiting. Uh, could hear the neighbor just down the road singing karaoke. So he was already having a good start to the morning. 
Okay, so while we waited, the mechanic and the owner both took a look at the trooper. They found that it was the, a bracket on, for the sway bar that had broken. So they started to work on that and with a good welding job, and they were able to get that fixed. Along with that, they took out the air filter for me and blew that out so we could see, uh, once they took that out, just how dusty and dirty the air filter was from that road. All right, we got the trooper fixed. We're going to be back on the road. Turns out it was a sway bar. It wasn't the shock absorber. I thought we blew a shock, but we got the sway bar fixed and we'll be back on the red. These guys do pretty good work. So, hopefully we don't have to come back, but yeah, it was a great, great shot. Did good work and they got us back on the red. Our final night in Atapu. I got some charcoal there for sale. And we found a place we're gonna try for dinner. This place looks like it's got a pretty good menu, so we're gonna try it. Hey doggy. Hey doggy. Looks like a little camp place. So, by the Hanahan Atapu Hanahan Lao Hanahan Lao The neighbors are already doing karaoke. Yeah. They're already having their party. Uh -huh. They already have good time. Yeah, they're having a good time. <laughs> All right, we're going to try the <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> oh, here comes dinner. So that's your tamaku, a bit of salad, and your meatball. Yeah. This thing's supposed to be. Oh. Yeah. Let's see. That's the way. Everyone, thank you for watching as we explore the frontier town of Atapu and got our trooper back on the road. As always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.